Alright, I have searched the galaxy and collected the most interesting and absurd Minecraft myths out there and I'm going to be busting them in today's video. Please subscribe, like the video and comment down below some myths you want to see busted in the next video for a chance to be featured. Let's go. Okay, so myth number one is you can't make an iron golem underwater. So let's go into here and grab our iron blocks and our pumpkin head. So let's see if we can make an iron golem underwater though. Let's have a look. Okay, let's see if this is a myth. Place our iron blocks and three, two, one. Yep. Okay. It's it's busted. Myth busted. You cannot make an iron golem underwater. Alright, myth number two is you can freeze to death by staying in a powdered snow for too long. Let's go ahead and grab the powdered snow. And place it down here. Now let's go ahead and switch on over to survival. And let's see if we freeze to death. I'm not too sure about this one. Oh. Okay. You get this little anime you get this little overlay on your screen of you for Oh! My hearts have actually switched to to ice. I don't know if my hunger's gonna run out first or if I'm just gonna go down to one heart or not, not but um I'm not too sure. Alright, we just let's just let this sit and um see. See what happens. Alright, we're at half hearts and my character's actually shaking as well. I did not know that. That's kinda cool. My hunger is slowly going down, but I think I'm gonna die first before the hunger goes down. Alright, we're at one heart and I will see if we're gonna die. Yep, and even has the Ted's has froze to death. Okay, so myth confirmed. Nice. Okay, myth number three is you take full damage falling into a cauldron with water in it. Alright, so let's go ahead and place our cauldron down. Place the water in it. I'm just gonna build up here. Switch on over to survival mode. Alrighty, so we've created our little contraption and let's see if we're gonna take damage. Three, two, one, go. Yes, you, you take damage. You actually do take damage. Alrighty, we're actually gonna test that one again. So let's go. Three, two, one, go. Yes, you still do take damage falling into a cauldron. That's interesting. That is really interesting. I would have thought that um you would not take damage there due to the water, but uh, I guess I'm wrong. Okay, myth number four is anvils don't sink in powdered snow. Let's grab our snowball, our powdered snow. Grab our anvil. Let's just fill it up with powdered snow. And let's see if the anvil falls. No. Anvils do not sink in powdered snow. That is myth busted. They do not sink in powdered snow. Myth number five is when you put a skeleton inside powdered snow, it turns into a stray skeleton. Alright, uh, so we have our powdered snow here. We have our skeleton egg. Oh. Okay, we might not even need an egg, so let's just chuck some powdered snow down and see what happens. Hmm. You might have to be under all the snow for it to work. Hmm. Oh. He's shivering. Okay, this might actually work. He's shivering. Okay. He's shaking. Surely this works. He's shaking. Surely that means something's going to happen. Okay, so yeah, that is myth confirmed. Skeletons do, in fact, turn into stray skeletons when on when they go through powdered snow. That's cool. Alright, so the next myth is naming a sheep Jeb underscore turns it rainbow. I'm not too sure about this one. I'm actually... I've never done something like this, so um, let's see. Jeb underscore... And let's just go find a sheep and see if this works. Three, two, one, go. Whoa. Okay, so yes, it actually does do that. Wow, the, the sheep is actually just cycling through colors. That is really cool. I, I did not know that. We're also going to try another thing about this one is if you use the name tag Jeb underscore on a goat, will it become rainbow? So let's get that. All right, so we've spawned a goat here. Let's see if Jeb underscore will also make the goat rainbow. Three, two, one, go. No, so, oh, that does not work. That one is busted. This one is myth confirmed, though. The sheep actually does turn into a rainbow. Alright, the next myth is you can repair shields in the anvil with oak planks. Alright, so here we have our shield, which is damaged. So let's see if we can repair the shield with oak planks. Alright, so we've got our anvil. Let's chuck in the shield and chuck in the oak planks and see if it does. And it does. It, it does. Alright, there it is. I've 
fully repaired shield. So that is myth confirmed. All right, so next up we have, you can burn inside a cauldron even if you're underwater. So let's go down here. Let's jump down into the bottom of the water, place our cauldron, place our lava. All right, we're gonna switch it over to survival mode and see if this is myth confirmed or busted. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so you do, you actually burn underwater. Oh my, that, what? How does that even work? I did not expect that one to be myth busted, but there we have it. All right, so the last and final myth we have for today's video is you can make glow signs using glow ink sacks. And the way to do that is by killing glow squids and they actually drop something called ink sacks. As you can tell here, glow ink sacks. So for this myth, we're gonna see if we place a sign down Subscribe to Ted's and as you can tell if we place this ink sack onto the sign It's apparently gonna make the sign glow. I don't know, but let's see three two one Okay, so it actually does it. It's not really like a glow glow But it puts just a nice little outline on the sign, which is pretty cool. So that's actually misconfirmed. Awesome I do not that's cool. I like that Thank you for watching this video. Please, if you enjoyed, don't forget to smack the like button, even subscribe if you're new, and be sure to comment some more Minecraft myths you want me to test in the next video. See you all later.